Hi guys, welcome back to the Yata Yoros YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna have a quick video about how to wire up the ECU master plugs. So let's get right into it. Uh, there's a few tools. I am using stripper pliers and a terminal crimper. So these are the pliers, they're very inexpensive. I have them at my web shop and uh, you're gonna need those to make these connections uh, so in the ECU I'll open it up real quick uh, the warranty card they come with uh, the ECU master connectors there's a grey smaller one and a black larger one so these are the connectors you have two of them a smaller one which I'll start with uh, they're basically the same they use the same uh, terminals uh, these are the terminals that come with your ECU there's large and small ones you'll see by the end the larger ones are basically square and the smaller ones are rectangular and they are different and uh, the plugs have the larger ones on the outside and the smaller ones on the inside these terminals don't need a rubber seal because the seal is integrated into the connector right here it's the reddish part you can see it's silicone you'll push the wire with terminal through so uh, no need to worry about that so the first step in wiring up your ECU is uh, removing the lock from the connector uh, this yellow lock uh, is kept in with two little uh, plastic bits right here and I'm using uh, one of these terminal deep pinning tools uh, I have a set as well on my website it's basically a bunch of those but I always go for the pointiest one uh, to take out the lock put the the pinning tool in between here and you just slowly pry it and go back to the other side pry that one as well and you see there's multiple catches so it's basically two steps and by the time you have both removed the lock will fall, fall right out there we go that's the lock removed and you can now see the inside of the connector uh, for now we're going to leave this and we're going to crimp the terminal to our wire I'm using a white Muller stripping pliers, but you can use basically any uh, stripping pliers. Uh, so I've already set it to the correct length for my terminal and I basically stripped it. So this should be easy so far. And uh, now we're gonna get one of our terminals that came with the ECU. We're starting with a smaller terminal. So uh, you're just gonna get the ones that came with your ECU and just wiggle it back and forth until one comes off. and Important to note is it has a larger beak and a smaller beak so the when you put it over your strip wire Basically it goes like this and you can see that the rear two prongs have to go over the shield uh, the outside of the wire And then we're gonna get our terminal crimping pliers and you can actually see if I open these that they have a step so basically a larger and a smaller one and the larger one is for the outside prongs of your terminal. So it basically lays in there or in here. Uh, you have to find the correct one. Uh, for this pliers, I know it's a one millimeter size. So uh, you can just put it in there and you'll see that it, it'll squeeze those down correctly. Now I'm getting my uh, terminal pliers and I will put it over and uh, put it in the correct slot and just cramp it down like that the top prongs have to be flat with the surface and then you'll have a correct crimp and also keep in mind that this doesn't rotate uh, to get it to this point you might have to squeeze the prongs a bit to each other uh, sometimes they like to uh, get stuck and they will go around and you don't want that because then you'll destroy the terminal once you've actually crimped it down all the way so I'm just this wretches is so uh, I'm just gonna press this down all the way and then you can't go any further and just let go so this is pretty much a perfect crimp uh, the bottom prongs cut into the uh, sheathing and the top ones uh, clamp down on the copper really well and you can see there's no copper uh, strands going out anywhere and it's nice and straight as well so uh, this is perfect for going into your connector once again, I'll do the same for the larger one. So I'm gonna get a larger one here. Get my wire, strip my wire. And then um, this one is a bit wider because it's made for a larger diameter 
wires, but you can still use your crimping tool with it. You might have to squeeze these together a bit to get it uh, to line up pretty well. I'm going to use the largest opening for this one and just clamp it down. Exact same operation as with the smaller ones and it got slightly stuck so you can just like that. So this is the terminal crimp again and now we've got the smaller and the larger one and uh, we're going to put those in the connector. So once again this is our connector. It has the lock removed. Uh, same situation on the larger one. It just a bit larger. And uh, important to note is that the purple clip is for putting it onto your ECU. So uh, get your ECU and uh, get it mounted the correct way you can. Actually put the terminals all in and it's upside down. Uh, don't ask me how I know it. Let's say the smaller terminal we crimped has to go to number 18, which is the 12 volt supply for this uh, ECU. It's the ignition one. So number 18, looking at the top, it's right here, it's 1718, so it's the second from the left from the bottom row of the grey one. So we're going to go to our connector, again making sure it's positioned the correct way and uh, you're looking at, at it from the back. It's the bottom row is number 17, so the second one over is number 18 and you're just going to put that in straight, so all straight like that. It requires a little bit of wiggling to get it through the uh, rubber seal and uh, should just be able to click it in. You've heard it snap and you can see it from the top as well. It's uh, perfectly positioned in there. And now you've added your connector. This is actually already with a hook, so it uh, won't come out. Same thing with the larger one. So let's say we wanted to put that on the power ground, which is number 24 pin 24 of the gray connector so looking at the pin up that's the bottom right one and uh, this one is a bit trickier because it's a square you can't uh, you can actually rotate it 90 degrees but uh, think about it if you look at the other ones you can see it stands up straight so the um, the folded over parts on the inside they actually go at the top and the bottom just like this one it has to look the same Let's go to pin 24, which is the bottom right one, and uh, put it in uh, as it should, and just wiggle it a bit. These are actually a bit harder, but uh, just make sure you don't uh, bend the terminal too much, and uh, wiggle it through the little, there it goes, through the seal. So all the way, and I'll you'll hear the click. That's it, that's in there. Uh, if you don't hear a click, you can actually uh, look at the little uh, pin right there and check if it's actually engaged all the way it has to be down there has to be a space for the lock to actually get in there if your lock goes in uh, not smoothly then you'll have to check if all of the pins are cr uh, positioned correctly so that's installing the two uh, types of terminals now we're gonna remove the terminals so it's basically how to deepen these um, I like to do it with one of these, it's a pointy one but it has a uh, angle at the end, uh, those again come in the kit and uh, to deepen it you need to remove the lock and you'll see at the top of the uh, terminal there's a little um, hook right here, it's probably hard to see but I'll overlay a picture. To deepen these connectors, it's uh, really easy. It's a two part process and it's basically, the first step is to pry open the little retaining hook for the terminal. And then the second part is just pulling it out straight. Uh, to do that, I like to position my hand in a way that I can pull it uh, like this. And the first step, you don't pull because that'll make this part a lot harder. Uh, you get your terminal deepening tool and you put it behind the retaining hook and you can kind of point it upward and then you pull so uh, you only have to you don't have to pull hard it should be really easy uh, you don't want to break those because then you have to replace the entire connector um, but I've basically um, put the terminal retaining hook a bit up and then I've already pulled it out a bit and now it's not being held in so you can pull it out straight same with the larger one it is even easier because they have a larger retaining hook there you go, you can kind of see there's a retaining hook and then just pull it out with your hand like that. And there it comes. 
So that's how to actually wire up your uh, ECU master connectors. So really quickly, if you guys have an MX-5 uh, and you want an ECU master EMU black in your car, uh, I offer uh, plug and play modules. These come with the harnesses. So this basically clips to the whole ECU just like this. It has its own uh, adapter harness and you put your car's harness in here. It does have a options port, which is a black version of the smaller gray connector. Uh, and this port houses uh, the pins for the wideband sensor and some other bonus pins for uh, when going to coil on plugs or something like that. Uh, so you will need to wire up those six pins at least to get it working. Um, but this is a really easy solution so you don't have to cut up your whole wiring harness for your MX-5. Uh, I have these uh, available and the ECUs and the tools on my website mpperformance.eu and you can find it there. And uh, I have a separate video of installing this um, module in a car and we have multiple cars running on it already. So that might be something for you if you have an MX-5. Back to the other stuff. I've shown you how to wire up uh, two terminals, it's the smaller and the larger one. Now I'm going to wire up my testing setup. This is something I've wired up, it's basically four wires that I have to connect to the ECU master. This has a switch box and a battery to get it powered like a bench testing setup. And uh, I've got my terminals right here and my wires, so I'm going to be crimping them. Uh, starting with this white one, so it's basically stripping them getting my correct terminal, it's a smaller one, and then get my crimping pliers, put it in the third slot, because it's the smaller one, and basically just crank it down. And there you can go, you can see, that's an easy setup. So I'm gonna do the other ones right now. So again, I've Terminated all of my wires and I'm going to put them into the ECU's uh, connectors right now. So the, again, removing the lock of the larger black connector right here. There we go. So basically these are both grounds. This is a constant 12 volt and this is a switch 12 volt. And I'll put that on the ECU right now. The Constant 12 volt goes to pin 13 of the black connector, which is pin 13, follow the pin up, and it'll go into this one. You can hear it clicked in. Now I've got those wired up, so I'm going to put in the locks, which is basically, uh, it goes in one way, you can't force it, uh, so like that. And I'll show you on the second one. Um, if you do it the other way around, like this, it won't go. So you just flip it around, and there you go. And to put it on the issue, it's really easy, you just click it on like this, click it on like that. Perfect. And now in theory, if I wire up my 12 volt and my ground and put on the ECU, it actually bleeps. So this works. So this video marks the beginning of a new series I'm starting on ECU Master Tutorials. It's uh, wiring and tuning, so uh, expect more of that in the future. Uh, of course, I'm going to continue my uh, Miata 5-cylinder build. If you want to, guys want to see uh, certain things on the ECU Master uh, or in the software, uh, please let me know. I've already got a couple of ideas what I want to do, but uh, your guys uh, are the guys watching, so uh, you decide. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.